Uh, Arjun's been having a good tournament. And he's playing on board three. And this is uh, the board one match between uh, India and Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is the reigning champion. And uh, I guess I'll show the game. I was just going to show some positions, but they, they played at Berlin. And in this position, uh, white always plays bishop takes c6 or d takes e5, which d takes e5 leads to a lot of quick draws. Um, but okay, he played bishop a4, which is unusual. And uh, Vokidov played e4, rook d1. This should be seven. They played this relatively quickly. Knight e5, castles, knight c3. But both sides can play differently, but this was their prep. Um, knight f5 takes, knight takes, pawn takes. And this seems uh, to be better for white. And it seems like uh, Arjun was really in his prep like he was expecting black to make these moves against bishop a4 and vohidov was was trying to remember his prep and he played d6 bishop f4 and uh i was watching the broadcast uh on chess.com with naraditsky and uh judah polgar Naraditsky seemed familiar with this line. He was giving some variations. Black played c6. And they traded. Black can't take with the knight because rook d4 would win right away. And um, this just seems unpleasant for black because white is controlling the center files. Black's bishop can't really get out. Occasionally, when the queens are traded, I can play rook e7. So he played queen c7, queen h5, which is the best move. And this is just good for white. So black should play differently earlier than this. Um, so white just has a nice solid advantage, better pieces, better control of the center. Black is very passive. G4 is good. Rook D4. Bishop C8 is a good move. Good defense by, by black. Rook D7 is the correct move. This is all correct. The engine likes all these moves. Um, doesn't like Knight E8 so much. Thinks white has increased his advantage. It says white's plus one. You can see white's pieces are all good and black's pieces are all super passive. Okay, h6, uh, queen g6. And the engine doesn't like queen g6. This is Arjun's first mistake. Um, for about 10% of you, the reason black doesn't take the queen is because it's illegal, because the bishop is pinning it. Uh, the engine wants white to play queen h4. It says white's up plus one, and white's going to follow up queen h4 with g5. Uh, and in this position, if white plays sort of obvious g5 first, then bishop f5 is a good move because it attacks the knight. Uh, and bishop can go to g6 later. Not now. It pins the knight. This is equal, according to the engine. Um, so he played queen g6. He wants to play g5, but he doesn't want to allow bishop f5. Okay, then c5 was played. Uh, also good as bishop c8. But okay, bishop c5 is fine. Knight c5. The idea is if you take the knight, then I take the bishop. For those of you that forgot, the queen isn't hanging because it's pinned. Okay, so bishop takes g4. And that way if white takes and black takes... Uh, this is the um, textbook 
definition of a desperado. If you don't know what a desperado is, this is a desperado. If you take the knight, you lose your bishop. So you desperado your bishop for a pawn. Then when you take the knight, you equalize material. Okay. And the engine says white's slightly better. It thinks that queen g6 gave away most of white's advantage. Queen d4. And engine says this should be a draw, but white has the advantage because white has a nice bishop. And it doesn't like king g2. Now it says it's equal and white has no advantage. And uh, in time trouble, we see a, a double blunder. And um, I think if both players had like 45 minutes left, then black wouldn't have blundered and white would have punished the blunder if so. But uh, because they both had so little time, this position, white has three minutes and black has four minutes. Um, there was a, a blunder that black made and, and white missed the winning continuation. The engine wants to play queen g5 and says that ending is a draw. It says rook d7 is okay too. Played rook c8. Four and the engine slightly prefers white. Rook c7, b3, and knight e8 loses the game immediately. It's a double question mark move. And he had a minute and a half, and it was move 37. And I think if Black was able to think five or ten minutes, he would have played a better move. And this just loses tactically but it's virtually impossible to see. And if you're a computer, then you see it instantly. Uh, so both sides missed that after bishop f7, uh, queen f7, white has uh, a couple of winning moves here. And when white moves the queen, uh, there's going to be a, a pin here. And in that instance, when white moves the queen, black is going to play knight f6. And I'm sure both players saw this position, and they saw if the queen moves away, then black plays knight f6. For those of you who think queen takes is good, black takes with the knight, so that's no good. And queen d6 is no good because the knight takes. Um, and then if the queen moves anywhere, knight f6 looks winning. However, White can move the queen to the D file. It doesn't matter if he goes to D4 or D2. And now uh, black is forced to try to draw this ending, which is not drawn. And I had a very similar ending against Sam Shankland, at the U.S. championship around 2007 or 8 in Tulsa, which I won. Um, and the idea is if knight F6, now queen D8 check, and black doesn't have a move here. After knight e8, the queen's hanging, and after queen e8, the rook's hanging. So Arjun most likely would have won the game if he had seen after bishop f7, queen f7, the queen can go to the d file threatening queen d8. And if black had seen that, black wouldn't have played knight e8. Uh, but they both missed it in time trouble. That was Arjun's winning shot that he missed. Um, and again, it's hard to see queen d4, or queen d2, and, and figure all that out. Uh, unless you have time on your clock, then, then he would do it. And I think if black had time on his clock, he wouldn't have allowed that. Um, yeah. And, and so forth. Okay, so he played rook e3, and the rest of the game was not interesting. Uh, it was just always equal. Nobody ever had an advantage. And eventually they traded stuff, queens, and just no, no, nobody's better here. It's a completely equal material. And 
nobody really has any winning chances. And after c5, they agreed to a draw. Because nothing either side can do. Uh, so Arjun was better most of the game, possibly much better. Then Arjun was winning for one move. And then the rest of the game was a reasonable draw. That was the best chance uh, for winning in the match. Pragnananda was close to losing strategically against Sindarov. But Cinderov couldn't find a way to break through, so they drew. And the other two games were uninteresting draws. And so forth. Magnus not only wouldn't win with black and white, he would lose. God damn. 